oh my gosh, I'm a terrible developer. Like, what did I do? Why, why did I do this to myself? Hello, everybody. My name is Naya, and I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers, and today, we're going to get into another update for my very first developer job. For those who don't know, I work in Commerce Cloud Development. I've been working there for about three months now, and I provided a, I, I, was it first 30 days or first six weeks? Now I can't remember. But um, a initial review of my time there, my experience, the things I noticed, things I liked, don't like. And so now I'm giving more of a three month update because you know, things change as you go on. So yeah, let's get to it. So during that first month in this new role, really the main things that were keeping me up at night were working in Sprint, something I've never done before, working with GitHub in a team environment. I've worked with GitHub before, but now I was working on it to deal with tickets and to see if my code would be approved. And if it wasn't approved, then it getting back sent back down to me and all of that. And that was very new to me. I had I really didn't know how GitHub worked in a, you know, manager to developer type of context because when I was working on my own projects in the little corner over there it really was about me just committing and pushing my own changes and calling it a date there but it works very different when you're at work and so it was that as well as the imposter syndrome and also just not being so you know appreciative or you know so enthused by the lack of diversity in the company the imposter syndrome i dealt with a lot a lot a lot um in these first not only 30 days but also first three months because every single time that let's say my code wasn't approved i would just spiral into this whole hole in my mind of oh my gosh I'm a terrible developer like what did I do why why did I do this to myself and just spiraling that way and it's awful I don't recommend it it's awful and so I've had to really work to not put myself through that because other people are dealing with the same things they're also dealing with their code not being not being approved right away and them having to make changes but they're not broadcasting it so it makes you think like you're the only one or you're falling behind or something but everyone else is like that's the process that's why you go through code reviews and why you push up and your manager sees if it's approved or not. That's why they do that because of course the changes may need to be made based on different business needs or based on what the manager expected of you and things like that. So like I very much focused on trying to figure that whole part of my job and just my own um, like insecurities out. If you follow me on Instagram at the black female engineer, you may have seen me post about some of these things, especially like bugs where I think I have it and I think I know it's the problem, but then it's not the problem. Or when something's working on my machine, meanwhile, Tom, Jack and Harry, theirs is just not working for them. And so just dealing with that frustration, one, because especially the whole something working on your machine and not on the other person's machine. That, I remember, that took me forever, forever to figure out because I was so, so frustrated because I was just like, okay, well, like, what, where am I supposed to go here then? What am I supposed to do? Because it's working on mine, so like, I don't know what to tell you. And so, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me uh, talking a lot about that specifically. And so, yeah, that was the first month to six, six to eight weeks, month to two months of my job now i have gotten to be i feel like more hands-on with my work instead of being handed things like bugs and all to fix now actually being a part of projects and that's been very very interesting and i'll actually add this note i very shockingly liked dealing with bugs because with bugs you have you know the centers where all of the errors are logged and things like that and it'll tell you oh look on this line and now you're kind of trying to sometimes it's very very wrong i'll say that but now they're trying to problem solve in all of this rather than more the front end the regular front end dev side where a client says oh i would like this type of design but it's very 
it can be very broad and so you think you're really pulling out all the stops and then you give it to them and they're like nah that that's not it at all so i actually ended up liking dealing with bugs a lot more than these open-ended um tickets because with the bug you kind of had a clearer road to go through and so i will say that but yes now with the rest of the three months being able to now be a part of projects so my company like i said i'm in commerce cloud development what that means for us is my company along with other things will do things like client presentations to try to get some type of client to work with them so let's say i don't even know like asos a you know, e-commerce platform, an e-commerce company, and trying to have them move their own online stores and platforms to our platforms. So for the last like three weeks, I've been working on that side of things, being able to build sites and apps and seeing how it would be presented and things like that. And so that's been extremely, extremely fun, but also started out, oh my gosh, when I was handed this, oh my goodness, I, I was not too enthused because it just I don't know it was seemed just like so much going from fixing little typos or you know fixing little lines of code here and there to okay make this whole demo site make this whole X Y and Z and I'm just like I'm sorry I think you came to the wrong person so that was very very nerve-wracking but within like a couple days I was on, like I really enjoyed it just within a couple days because I really do like front-end development so being able to put those kinds of things together putting components and pictures and visuals and all of that together and showing what a site could look like and all of this it was very 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 fun and I got to present it if again if you follow me on Instagram you saw that day where I um, shared that I was going to presenting to be presenting something to my company so I got to present it and people loved it and well at least I think I loved it I think I think they loved it I hope they did but yeah I got great feedback and so that was just so such a rewarding experience the things i've seen that i am really not great at and this was something that during coding boot camp i constantly you know loathed and didn't like to do and i'm now very much regretting how i didn't push myself to do this more and that is using debuggers and i really wish i had pushed myself to do this more during coding boot camp i used it sometimes but only if like the instructor told me to if the teacher told me to not really on my own volition and i am really regretting it now because now when i go get into certain problems and i hit up the slack channel they're like oh like what does the debugger say and i'm like oh okay let me let me pull that up <laughs> so it's just i really wish i had done that more because now it's really biting me and so i am going to be working on that specifically like really starting to make sure that's the first thing i do um when i get into when i have bugs and things like that because yes i can see all the error logs and everything just on my own but looking at a debugger you can really inspire expect your lines of code, expect your outputs, and it really can be the difference between a two hour project versus a two day one. And so I really, so if you are going, either going through coding bootcamp or learning how to code, y'all install debuggers because when you start working, yeah, yeah, you need to know about all that. And people will expect you to know, you know what I mean? People never really like, asked if i um knew or if i like understood or walked me through it people were just like oh yeah like check your debugger and tell us what it says i'm like ah oh, damn I'm like okay okay let me let me do that so make sure you are really pushing yourself to use it and it'll really do you wonders when you start working overall i do still love this company i still love the people i'm working with they're very nice especially because i have um I have troubles with asking for help because of just this insecurity that I will be seen as incompetent. And I think a lot of it has to do, well, I've always had this even in college and everything, but I think a lot of it also has to do with the path in which I got to this place. And so having that extra layer of it and 
so I've been really trying to push myself to ask questions to reach out in Slack channels and every single time I'm met with nothing but kindness and so I really need to make sure I break out of that because you know what if you're not met with kindness that says more about them than it does about you so just remember that when you start or while you're working and things like that to not um to make sure that you're pushing yourself to ask questions because you know what rather like it's better to ask the dumb question now than it is to ask a dumb question when you're six months in the job and you never asked but now they think you should know it by now and now you're in this whole pit of un unasked questions and so make sure you're asking those questions that i say dumb questions they're not dumb questions they're not dumb questions if you have them they're not a dumb question. So make sure you just do keep that in mind. Whether you are in coding bootcamp, whether you are in school or in your new job or any of the like, make sure you are keeping that in mind and I'll make sure to keep that in mind. And so I've definitely moved from the, I've definitely moved from constantly being on edge, constantly being scared and nervous and just in my head for the first you know six weeks to now being pumped you know what i mean to now being excited and finally getting that fulfillment of everything because i've put away all of well maybe not all but i've put away the bad stuff like the imposter syndrome and the freaking out and me entering my own black holes in my mind and everything and now have just taken these new challenges as they come and taking them as opportunities to learn, which they are. They are opportunities to learn. And so that has done wonders for how happy I am day by day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about the first job experience or anything, I'd love to have a chat with you about it. You can also DM me. I answer my DMs, so DM me if you'd like more of a conversation. But no, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.